Hi everyone, I wanted to do a really short haul today. Uh, we were just out and about after church and wanted to stop at Hancock Fabrics because we saw that they were having a sale and so we went in and looked around and the first thing I saw was this fabric. It was actually on clearance so it was half off the original price and it has this adorable little girl on it and I believe it's a Mary Inglebright print and um, I have plans. I love this whole print by the way it's so 50s with the cute little records and everything um but I have plans for the little girl I am working on a project and uh I needed a cut out of a little girl and so I'm going to cut her out a little bit outside of uh the actual picture of her and turn her into a little applique and it's going to be perfect and then I have the rest of the fabric to use for some other project because I bought uh, one fourth of a yard. Then after that, Jeremiah saw this pattern on display and we had bought some Simplicity patterns from Hobby Lobby recently when they were on sale and they were on sale at Hancock's for um, five for five dollars and we had not seen this one before because we had only looked in like the costume patterns. We hadn't actually looked at like the doll patterns. And so um, we just thought this was really cute. It fits the um, 11 and a half inch dolls, so the Barbie size dolls. And it is little frozen dresses, but you could also make them in different fabrics and they could be um, just about any kind of princess dress. So that is super cute. There's 29 teeny tiny little patterns pieces inside of there. So since we were already by the doll display, we happened to notice these other patterns that were adorable. First off, oh my gosh, can we just look at this pattern for a minute? It is so stinking cute. It is the perfect little pattern. Uh, it fits the 18 inch dolls, so like the uh, American Girl dolls. And it has all of these different pieces, tells you how to make them all, and then you can go online and get the instructions to make the goggles, the fascinator, and the uh, little hair beads. So I am super excited about this. I actually have an American Girl doll from when I was little. I have the Samantha doll. And um, I was thinking about that. And I want to give it to Peyton when she gets older. And so I can make all of these fun little costumes for the doll. And I can make fun little costumes for Peyton. And I already have fun costumes for me. And so we can have all sorts of dress up fun when Peyton is a little older. And then they also had these two other doll patterns. Uh, I actually thought this one was for Barbie dolls at first, just how the sketches look. But these are both for the 18-inch dolls as well. Um, I just liked this one. It looks like a vintage reprint. And then this one, I just loved these two dresses in particular. Um, I just think the way they are color blocked is super adorable. And this actually kind of looks like the dress that the Samantha American Girl doll wears. So I grabbed both of these. Um, they both have like a bajillion pieces in them. And um, so I, I don't actually like sewing on a really small scale. But you know what? I can, I can do it anyway. Um, but these will definitely be so much fun to make and play with with Peyton and so I'm really excited about that and then the last thing we found we were flipping through the catalog to find one more pattern and we found this oh my gosh it is so cute it is fake animal heads to put on your wall so you can have your like deer head mounted on your wall for a trophy or you can have your unicorn and I just thought that was the cutest thing in the world I don't know what it is about it but it's adorable and I could not pass it up you can make the elephant the uh, deer and the unicorn and the giraffe 
and it is just way too cute. And then I love how they have this one framed and this one on a plaque. Oh, it's just so fun. I don't know what it is about it, but they are just so adorable. So anyway, that is what we bought today along with the fabric and yeah I am super excited about them it is probably kind of ridiculous how excited I am currently about doll patterns when I was never really that into dolls as a kid and Peyton isn't old enough to play with dolls for quite a while but I don't care these are adorable so yeah that is my haul for today, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments which one of these patterns or the fabric is your favorite, and I will have some more videos up very soon. Bye!